Hi, and welcome to Creation Depot. My name is Wendy Literal. I am trying to figure out how to place an image in a Google Doc, and it's really simple, and I knew how to place the image, but I didn't know how to arrange it, and I was going nuts, because I'm like, look, I can do this in Word. What's going on? It's really stupid simple, <laughs> and as you can see on screen, I've got it where I want it to be, but um, I'm just making sure I'm just recording here. It is, okay. I've got where I want it to be, but I, I was looking up here in the tools, the formatting, I couldn't figure out how to make it align right, like float right, right? And I finally figured it out, and it's really simple. It's not in the menus, it's not like you right click and you go to image options, it's right here. This These three options at the bottom that show up underneath the image. I looked everywhere but right in front of my face, basically. So let's see, it was like this before, where it was inline. Um, had it down here, like I couldn't figure out how to move it up without it jumping all over the place. All I needed to do was hit wrap text, it moves it over to the right, and then I've got to move it up to where I want it. There are guides that appear, but I don't find them to be that helpful. Um, like I have white image space above my image, so it's kind of hard to, to judge. Like I would much rather it be up here so that the 30 is aligned with the, the top header there, but it's only showing where the top of the image is, which is, I guess, helpful if you've got like a a board, a image with a border. So here's the thing. It looks okay the way it is now because with zero margin because I've got all this white space, right? But let's say I didn't. The text would go right up against the image. So I can add a margin, but here's my problem with it. Watch what happens to the image. It bumps down because it's a margin all the way around the image. I really wish they would change this because I want this to be aligned with the top of it, but I can't do that right? So I've got to choose to either have zero margin and then just space out my text differently or like go in here and manually like do hard returns, which I don't really like that idea because that's time consuming. And if I ever have to change the text, then I got to change the, the text flow of everything. Or I could just put up with having my stuff not being exactly where I want it to be which as a designer, I don't like, but as a general user is totally fine. So you kind of got to pick your battles. So that's it. That's how you work an image. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I do answer all my YouTube comments. Um, otherwise, I will see you later. Have a good one.